blink twice for me, Tyrese, if you're going into space in the new Fast and Furious movie. He's other ah. poison. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to Stir Crazy. My guest today is the only man in history to have starred in films with Transformers, Vin Diesel, and now Santa Claus. It's Tyrese Gibson. <laughs> How you doing, man? I'm doing good. It's good to see a friendly face. I feel like if you're going to be cooped up in one place, your house is the place to be cooped up in because you've got it all tricked out. The running joke around here, you knew, you knew, you must have knew that something was going to happen because why did you... Why do you have the Grove in your backyard? Yeah, only you knew. Wait, I need my own Starbucks just in case of a global pandemic. That's it. That's it. Benny Hanna's Boston Market. Yes, every day. You have a Boston Market yeah. now, too? Yeah. <laughs> this is the legend. For those that don't know, I mean, it's worth repeating. You've got your own Starbucks. Here's my question on the Starbucks. Do you have to give your name to the barista when you order or do they know by now it's for you? Um, they know it's, they know my order. We have a really famous tea that you could only get from here. It's called Gibson tea. I remember Jamie Foxx drank five cups of this tea. Um, and then for like a week straight, he called me begging to, he's like, yo, what's the ingredients? I said, bro, I can't give you that. I said, this, this tea might be the only reason you come back over here. Do you have still the giant bumblebee, the giant Optimus Prime in the house? He just wanted to come in and... <gasps> Say hello <laughs> really quick. So this is, you know, they're just, they're just here. You're living every kid's dream. I see the Thundercats behind you. I see some kind yes. of Egyptian thing. What do you, I, I, what's, what's yeah. the next, what's the next big addition? What's the new? Well, this addition? is actually my latest edition here. Is that an Oscar? Yes. I went online and found an exact replica of the Oscar. Um, because, you know, you have to. You have to do it before you do it. This is the stand-in <laughs> ready for the real one to come. Yeah. So. Just but I got to earn it. You know, I got to earn it. It is in my yard, though, but I do have to earn it. Just do me a favor. When you do accept the Oscar, wear the same exact outfit and the Santa hat. I don't really know if I can commit to that. <laughs> <laughs> You've known him for a long time. Are you guys, you guys are obviously close, but are you competitive? Are you competitive with Vin? Uh, I'm not competitive with Vin. We're each other's support system. He calls me Ty Boogie. Ty Boogie, I need you to blah, 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 blah. It was one thing for him to call me Ty Boogie. It was another thing for everybody in the cast started to call me that. And I was just like, okay, so now this ain't cool no more. Now I gave him a hall pass. <laughs> ain't gonna be no Ty in the Boogie. If anybody couldn't tell, you're in the Christmas spirit. You're starring in this cool new Netflix movie, The Christmas Chronicles, Volume 2. I've got a challenge for you, man, if you'll indulge me. Um, there are some iconic Christmas songs out there. I want to see if I can figure out what Christmas song you're trying to sing or say to me with no sound. I'm going to get to know. I literally can't get one word. Um, miss her toe. Have, a, have yourself a Merry Christmas. Fill your heart with glee, Rudolph. What, what was it, Tyrese? That was Donny Hathaway's version of This Christmas. These Christmas. Do you want to play Santa one day? Now that Kurt Russell, I mean, Kurt Russell's arguably the sexiest Santa we've ever had on screen. Mm. What do you think of a Tyrese Santa? Do you think it's in your wheelhouse? I've already figured that out. I got a new movie called Blanta, the Black Santa. <laughs> see it. I can see it. I see the wardrobe right now. It's in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> Blanta. In 2021, we're finally going to see F9. And the word on the street, the rumor is, as you well know, you guys are going into outer space. Blink twice for me, Tyrese, if you're going into space in the new Fast and Furious movie. He's other ah. poison. <laughs> I blinked when somebody called me. Interesting. I don't know what to make of that. Okay, we've been talking about this for years. The, the, the spinoff that has not happened for you, for Roman Pierce, has to happen. I want to will it into existence, Tyrese. I've got some pitches for you, some ideas for the spinoff movie. We're going horror. We call this the Roman Omen. You get possessed by the devil. No. What's wrong with it? No, I don't do well with the devil. 
<laughs> I think I opened a can of worms. Okay, next one. How about this? This is much lighter. I call this Roman Holiday. It has nothing to do with the Audrey Hepburn movie. It's kind of like your eat, pray, love. You go to Italy, you fall in love, you eat a lot of pasta. Was that a yes uh, or no? No. No? no? Okay. No, that's fair. RVP. We're combining. It's Roman versus Predator. It's sci-fi. It's action. I don't know what the rights issues are, but would you be interested in Roman going up against the Predator? No. <laughs> you know, here's the thing. And I actually said this about The Rock. Um, and me and The Rock pieced up, by the way. We talked oh, yeah? four yeah. hours about three weeks ago. Oh, this, this, this is breaking news. You guys are good again. Yeah, we talked. Good. We talked. We did at least four hours. It was, it was great. What's interesting about The Fast and the Furious is it's not about any of us individually. It's, we're like the UN at this point. It's yeah. just like we kind of, every, everyone gets to go to the theater and say, he and she looks like me. If I did it with Tej, then who are we going to play off of? But I just could not make it about me. I just could not. That's been, it's been really strange. I hear you. Hey, you've got enough money for your own personal transformer. I mean, you're good. So you might as well follow your heart, yeah. follow your creativity. You're good. That's right. And I got money for California chicken too. It's crazy. Everything, <laughs> things are great. Hold on one second. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah, you're good. Can I ask yeah. you about a longstanding uh, story about you that I'm always fascinated by? What's I'm up listening. with you? What's up with you and owls? Is that a real thing? Are you really terrified of owls? I just seen one last night and freaked me out. Just last night, freaked what? me out. Why? Like I wanted to throw my whole house away because it flew over my house. But I'm here at the fire pit hanging out and um, I'm sitting there talking and telling this story. And then, you know, for whatever reason, I just went like this and it was like this big old owl, like. <laughs> And, you know, when he flew by, I felt like you felt the wind from his feathers. Right. Bad. And it was big. It was such a big owl. It was bad. I was just like, like, why did this happen now to me? And then I said, yo, did y'all see that? Nobody seen it but me. It was just a lot. Um, it's always an adventure catching up with you, my friend. Congratulations on the Christmas Chronicles Volume 2 and on, on the Oscar. We, we've made that happen today. That's right. And I look forward to my invite to Shay Gibson because I need to see all this stuff in person, man. I need to be there. Gypsy Hunter. I Thanks. wish I would have had your information, man. I would have definitely invited you over. Like, it was like 10 of the fellas. We had a cigar now. It was cigar and rum. I'll bring the cigars yeah. and no owl. No out, I promise. Please, man. No outs, please. <laughs>